And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fallout 4. Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the subscribe button, let's get into it. Yes, thank you, Yandi. I think that was it all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. What did you hear? Dr. Fillmore's report was quite thorough. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you. Regardless, the Brotherhood is an issue for the future. We must focus on the present and look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Whatever it is, I can take care of it. I certainly hope so. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and the, my understanding is that no... I need you to go there. Dr. Thompson, I know you can resolve this. They'll listen to me. I'll figure something out. You can consider this handled. Believe me. going on here you're an unexpected surprise we could use the backup these Institute bastards aren't getting away they'll have to go we don't know quite what we're up to can you bring me up to speed on this Commonwealth citizen lives in that there observer he managed to fire off a flare gun got our so how do you want to play this but then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make that makes sense right uh -huh. No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're gonna take that poor guy... ...wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you gonna order the attack or not? This whole thing is just... ...a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. Institute wants the same things you do. We can find a way to work together. I don't know about that, but look, if nothing else, you'd best get in there and make sure that man's okay. I'll make sure no. starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. 
If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. As far as I can tell, you were only in harm's way because you screwed this up. Look, I had the same intelligence reports as everyone else. No one saw this coming. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. I'm not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. Uh -huh. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. No argument from me. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking... Maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Try and relax. I know this is an unusual situation. No! You're here to kidnap me! That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... that sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean... Thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. From what I hear, that rogue saint of Libertalia was a real menace. Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. I'm proud to help the Institute. Here's hoping it all pays off. At this point, there is no doubt. It will succeed, and very shortly. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. That's a good idea. Hopefully, we can prevent violence and save some lives. Yes, that is one goal. 
And if you are to be the new director of the Institute, you should be the one to do it. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Mother. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It's true. But it's not the whole truth. We are here. And we are... In control. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist, ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your daily lives. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in Dire consequences. Rest easy. Know that the future is... ...in safe hands, and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was... ...interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Uh -huh. Before we... I've been assured that the... Report back when you're done.
this radio station. Um, So Nice work bringing this old sim. Dr. Higgs was dissatisfied. scratching the surface with the latest synths. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then. The transmitter has been modified. Everything is in place. Good. Once the reactor is online, we'll cut into that broadcast. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friend, is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My mother and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director. Sense are really something. Hey. Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical. Sleep is such one a waste relay. of time. If you ask me, we're only scratching the surface with the latest synths. Best part of my day is coming home.
couldn't be more pleased with Father's yeah, choice for a new director. Congratulations. I'm happy to be here, Dr. Fillmore. I'm sure you will. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. To bring you up to speed, obviously there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. We'll be much better able to defend ourselves. It's a good position. True, but I don't think we should stop there. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? I agree. We hit them hard before they have time to react to our new position. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. As director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? Synths are the Institute's greatest strength. The more we have, the better off we are. Well said. I'll see that the necessary steps are taken. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. We're making real progress, thanks to you. At last, we have power adequate to our need. Technology must seem pretty advanced. You've done well so far, but the evaluation is far from complete. Synth unit, you were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRV last night. Anything you'd like to report? Nothing to report. Ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to read. Right? It's the only way we can ensure the Institute's safety. That makes it the right thing to do. I'm glad you agree. None what comes next will be easy. That conviction may help keep us all going. You know, Mother, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? They mean nothing to me. Never have. I'll admit. I'm relieved to hear that. Then I certainly hope I can count on you for what needs to be done, because these fanatics cannot be allowed to continue to exist. They represent a very clear threat to the Institute. Small as they are in number, their twisted ideology ensures that they will never stop trying to strike at us. They must be eradicated. Are you willing to see to it? You don't have to worry about them any longer. They're as good as dead. Thank you. Do what needs to be done, but keep yourself safe.
And so, the work is done. I am sorry. I know it was... Riley. You're confident the railroad is finished? As confident as we can be. It was always a loose network. But with the key players gone, it's not impossible that they'll be back someday. But it will take them time. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out in the world, Mother. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens? I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice wherever we please and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. So, we're just gonna attack them? There's a plan that's a little more involved than that. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist for him. Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? Sean says it's time. Ah, that. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this we'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. 
What sort of EM field? What's it doing? Basically, just scattering any suitable complex signals, like the ones from our relay, preventing us from getting close. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you into a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. Oh, thanks. Grenades? Sure, I can always use grenades. No, no, they're not grenades. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. What are these reinforcements supposed to do? They're going to help you buy some time while you're completing the real objective. If nothing else, they'll take a few bullets meant for you. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? What's Liberty Prime? Dr. Lee can give you the rundown. Yes, well, the Brotherhood discovered him. An old pre-war military project that never saw the light of day due to power problems that couldn't be solved. With my assistance, they were able to get his reactor running and use him against their enemies. That's quite an achievement. In objective terms, yes, it was. But the things I went through, that project included, ultimately caused me to seek out something better. It's what led me to the Commonwealth and to the Institute. The point here is that in designing the power system for the robot, I had full knowledge of every onboard system. I know exactly what it is capable of, and for- We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth, capable of delivering the virus directly into liberty. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure- with Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders. But he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry, we'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise? No questions. Very well. Good luck to you. Dr. Lee might not show it, but I can tell she's excited about having the reactor online. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful.
Moisture won't affect my circuits.
to resume my duties immediately. Can you see them, man?
Incident detected. Curious.
Medical assessment. Red Chinese presence detected. Aerial incursion by communist forces cannot succeed. Initiating directive seven, three, nine, five. Destroy all communists. Time to go, ma'am. We're relaying to a safe location. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Not to sever anything you might miss. I hear that rogue synth of the Retalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn. Hello, Sean. Ah. Uh, there you are. I've already heard the news. But of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now, yes. But... There will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me, you can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. I'll do my best. I know you will. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. I'm glad I found you. As am I. Thank you. Mother, you've helped a boy achieve... his dreams. I think I'd like to sleep now.
have lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts. Whether or not you're ready. At some point. It happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted. But it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I... I hoped I could find my family. Cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. But the road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Alrighty, that's the end of the Institute main campaign. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. And the next one will be me playing the Mintman as the main questing. I've never actually played them as the main questing, so this should be interesting. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.